as you know, we don't stick to any one category. We're a little bit scattered. <laughs> Because <laughs> what we do is we show you the 10 hottest products that you're going to see at HSN all day. And I know you know the drill, but just in case somebody new is watching. All right, so let's talk about a little blast from the past, shall we? Do you remember Giorgio? I remember like it was yesterday. Giorgio from the 80s. It was the hottest perfume there was. But this one is a little bit different. This is Giorgio Beverly Hills, the Glam Eau du Parfum and Cosmetic uh, Bag. So you can see the top notes. You saw Peony. You've got Jasmine in there as the middle, uh, one of the middle notes. You've got that Iris, which is just a nice fresh note. And the Stephanotis, which is uh, going to be a nice white flower there. You've got the uh, Summer plum, the sandalwood, and the white heliotrope. And those are the dry down. And what that means is you have a scent that starts off very floral along the top. And if you like a floral, I think you're going to like Giorgio Glam. And then you've got a little bit um, more of like the crisper florals, the brighter florals in the middle. And then the dry down, what that means is after you spray the fragrance, the initial, the initial scent that you smell are the top notes. And then the more you sniff, you start to smell, you know, the, the jasmine in there, um, the iris in there. But as it wears on your skin and what holds the fragrance onto your skin is are the heavier notes or the dry down. And that's where the sandal, uh, sandalwood comes in. And this is Giorgio Beverly Hills. Initially, many of us were um, initially introduced to Giorgio based off of their signature fragrance in the yellow and white stripe uh, packaging. Do you remember that? It was everywhere. It was the hottest thing. Well, guess what? Giorgio is still everywhere. It is still uh, very popular worldwide. But you've got the glam scent that is more floral, it's a lot lighter. It's not a heavy fragrance whatsoever. And I really love the way that it's come in this beautiful gradiated bottle as well, because the bottle gives you an idea of the scent. It starts off very light and very sparkly and very floral, and then it just gives you a little bit of weight. Because you know how some fragrances, you smell them and they smell good, and then literally about an hour later, you can't smell a trace of them because they're almost too light and too airy. But this one has a little bit more to hold on to. And of course, a company like Giorgio who had the most I will say the most iconic fragrances of an entire decade they know how to make fragrance so you've got the eau de parfum which is what you see right here and you also have this really nice and it's a sizable as well this is your cosmetic bag. I say sizable because a lot of times cosmetic bags are kind of small and you have to decide, do I want a lipstick or a lip gloss? You know, because I can't get both in there. But with this, you can get everything. You can get a brush, you can get your powders, your touch-up lipstick gloss, you can put your fragrance in there. You've got a lot of room in this bag. And if it gets any makeup on it, you can easily wipe it down, which is gonna be nice. So all of this is included. And this is all in celebration of the 35th anniversary of Giorgio's iconic fragrance. Gosh, 35 years. I remember when everybody was wearing Giorgio. Do you remember you would walk into a department store and people would spray you? <laughs> Do they still have the sprayers <laughs> right at the front entrance? It was it was fun at the time. I don't know if people do it anymore because it might cause a problem now. But when you but when you have a scent like this, I think you're going to enjoy wearing it. And I'll tell you this: as we were, I was talking to a Mitchell Bender. Uh, I'm sorry, Mitchell Binder. Excuse me. Last hour. Um, about, you know, it's been a it's been an interesting year. We're about to go into a new year. And some things we do when we start a new year is we kind of, it's sort of that out with the old and in with the new. You want something new and fresh. You get a new day planner and start fresh. You get, you know, maybe, you know, you, you, you get a, a gym membership and kind of start fresh. You clean out your refrigerator and you only want good healthy food in there. Maybe fragrance is one of those kind of things that you're gonna do to start fresh for a new year. And fragrance is one that, yeah, if it's already a fragrance that you love, other people can get it for you. But if it's something new that you feel like you wanna try, then that's the kind of thing that you get for yourself. And here, four flex payments of $10.50, you can totally do that. Uh, and, and you've got it on free shipping, which makes it even better. You have something that is made by one of the most iconic 
perfume houses in the world, and that is Giorgio. This is in celebration of their 35th anniversary of Giorgio's iconic fragrance. And that was the one in the yellow and, the, and white striped packaging. We all remember that, which was, it was a good fragrance, but it was actually pretty heavy. And when you think about the fragrances of the 80s, they were very heavy. That was what was very popular now. Now, what we like are lighter scents. We like things that are a little bit more floral, a little bit fresher, things that are not gonna weigh us down. And that's what this is. Hmm. 